A busy and emotional day here at Ben Gurion, Israel's international airport, as three flights coming mainly from Warsaw, Poland, bringing hundreds of Ukrainian refugees landed. The last one landing a couple of hours into the late afternoon with so many new faces now being welcomed into Israel as a place of refuge. One of the flights brought in over 100 children from orphanages throughout Ukraine. The Israeli Premier Naftali Bennett as well as other ministers in his cabinet meeting not only the children but also other refugees that were arriving today. Some of them though have caused quite a lot of political infighting within the Israeli government as the majority of the 2,000 Ukrainian refugees that have since arrived in Israel since the start of Russia's invasion into Ukraine, 90% are not Jewish. And according to one camp in particular in the Israeli government, they should be giving first priority to those that are Jewish, giving them the right of return or the law of return, making sure that Jewish refugees are getting first and foremost into the country, which at the moment only make up around 10% of those 2000s. The other camp in the Israeli government is essentially saying that the bureaucracy and hurdle that non-Jews have to jump through is beyond ridiculous and very unfair and this is a humanitarian crisis where they should be treated as humans regardless. Earlier during the day we managed to speak to a Ukrainian Israeli a dual national who had been waiting at the airport for hours for his sister and her family to arrive from Kiev, a family that is non-Jewish and he spoke to us about some of the hurdles that they had to jump through in order to get here. We're simply exhausted. I have been in constant contact with them since the fighting began. I'm glad they're here today in a safe place. Experience was very difficult. There was so much bureaucracy, documents, phone calls to the foreign minister and to foundations. It was really hard, like operating a command room in our home. Outside of the flights that arrived today from Poland with the Ukrainian refugees as well as the chaos happening and unfolding within the Israeli government, something very interesting that happened here this evening at the Israel International Airport is that flights from Moscow were in fact landing. Now Israel is quite an anomaly here as most of Russia's national airlines aeroflots have been banned from landing in most of Europe at the moment. But not only are they still being allowed to fly into Israel, but they haven't stopped since the start of the war. When we spoke to an official here at the airport, we were told that these are mostly uh, dual citizens that are returning or Israelis that are making their way back to Israel. But it just goes to show the complex reality that Israel has in between Russia and Ukraine and why a potential mediation effort, according to Naftali Bennett, the prime minister, no matter how small or whether or not it actually brings in fruitful results, is an effort nonetheless. And we can see that complexity here during the day as both flights landing from both countries currently at war with each other. But that's the situation and the reality, unfortunately, on the ground.